Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to create OTP screen design in the Flutter. We are creating the login application playlist and we are about to complete our design section. So first let's quickly have a look at what we are going to create. Open our application and our application is running. You can see the splash screen we created at the very beginning of this course. And then we have a welcome screen when we are going to click on this login. Sign up is also created and this is the login screen when we're going to click on this forget password. This is the bottom sheet we created in our forget password video. Bottom sheet appears. You can user can select any option so he can reset his account using email and phone number. Let's say click on this email. User is going to enter the email, whatever the email of his account and once the email is entered, he is going to click on this next and we will send verification OTP which is a one time password to his mail. User will have to enter the six digit OTP because Firebase sent six digit OTP. So let's say these are the six digits and once completed, the bottom number pad will automatically disappeared. And also we are going to learn how we can fetch the data from these fields using its methods. So this is what we are going to learn today. Without wasting time, let's head towards the playlist. Okay, as you can see, we are creating a Flutter login application and inside we are creating currently the design portion and currently we are inside the design portion and later on once the design is completed, we will add the backend functionality using Firebase. So if you are new to this playlist, you can watch the previous videos. Link is in the description. So without wasting time, let's get started. So open Android Studio and we are inside the project we created for our Flutter login application. So before directly start coding, first of all, we have to go to assets and we have to follow the approach. If we need to add images, we will add images over here, fonts, logos and videos. If we don't have any assets, then we will go towards the main folder, which is a lib folder. And inside the source, we created folder structure in the start of this playlist. So if you're new, you can watch the previous videos as well. If you don't need folder structure, uh, you don't have to be worried about this. Inside the constraints, we first have to check that if we need any colors, image strings. As we don't have any image for this tutorial, we are not going to add image strings, no specific colors, no sizes. But in the text strings, you can see I have added three variables, OTP title, OTP subtitle and OTP message. This T is not necessary. So I use this T for all the custom classes and all the custom variables. So if you want to use it, it's up to you. If you if you don't want to use it, then you can simply use these names. Okay, after the constants, uh, basically to add the OTP screen and the design we created, we have two packages in the flutter.dev. So open the browser and you can see in the pub.dev, not flutter.dev, sorry, it's pub.dev. You can see the first one is OTP text field and the second one is Flutter OTP text field. So it's up to you. You can use anyone. This is the latest one, which is the published 30 days ago. And this one is the old, which is published five months ago. Both have a null safety. This also have a null safety. So it's up to you. But uh, for today's tutorial, I'm going to use the second one, which is the Flutter OTP text field. You just have to copy it. Go back to your code, open pubspec.yml file and in here, inside the dependencies, you just have to add Flutter OTP text field and click on this pub get. Okay, once added, close the pubspec.yml file and, and go to features inside the screens. If you're following, you must know that we are creating the authentication tutorial and inside we created all these tutorials previously. But for the forget password, let's add OTP. This is the OTP screen, which is the empty screen and it has only a scaffold, which is a stateless widget and a container. Now first let's add a padding. After the padding, we are going to use as a child column because the column is going to lay out all the elements vertically and we want to place all the elements in the center. So we will use main axis alignment dot center. And then as a children's of the column, the first thing is the text widget TOTP title as a text control D to duplicate and TOTP subtitle. Okay, now first we have to design it, but let's first run the application. Okay, so our application is running. You can see this is the splash screen. After the splash screen, we have welcome screen with the animations and we are going to click on this login. Login and sign up is already created. All the screens are created with the tutorials and also with the code. You can get the link from the description below and click on this forget password. I mean, user is going to click on this email and then on the forget password, OTP will be sent to the user. So to call the forget password screen, go to 
forget password mail the previous activity which we created and inside the elevated button we will use get that to which is the get x if you are not using the get x you can simply write navigator with a push function to navigate to the next screen so get dot to using a fat arrow we will call our screen which is a otp screen so that's it save the code click on this next button and you can see we have code verification you can see it is in the center but it is aligned towards the left side because the width is not completely covering the whole screen so let's style the text first align the text we will style the text and we will use the google fonts google fonts dot montserrat font and inside we will going to add few properties font weight as bold and font size as 80.0 so let's remove this constant from the top error is gone let's save the code and you can see our code is looking bigger if you go towards this code you can see we have co and then we have a backslash n which is going to break the line and then de right so you just change the font weight and increase its size and for the second text we will make it uppercase and as a theme we will assign headline 6 let's save it and you can see it has been increased after the two text let's have some space and then again we are going to add a text which contain totp message let's save it okay so you can see enter the verification code sent at so we will write concatenation and for now we are going to just add a dummy text so we're just going to suppose that this is the email that user passed in the previous screen now let's save it and you can see we have enter the verification code sent at this now to make it center we will use text align as center let's save this and the text is in the center now design is looking pretty much better so you can replace the plus sign with the interpolation you just have to add dollar sign and there is also no need to add curly braces so this is how you can use concatenation okay next let's have some space and after that we're going to create our otp field so to create the otp screen to create the otp text field you just have to write otp text field it will import its dependency first now let's save it and by default you can see we have four options right so i'm going to click on this we can remove them one by one and by default they are textual okay now as we are going to use the firebase as a backend so we are going to need six input fields because the otp sent by the firebase contains six digits so we will use number of fields as six let's save it okay so now we have six text fields so if you are facing any error over here so if you face a red screen then you just have to rerun your application okay after this add a fill color and fill color is black with opacity 0.1 let's save it it's not visible because we have a variable called filled make it true and now you can see the filled color when we click on it you can see the filled color with the underscore color you can also change the underscore color uh, add radius and bunch of other options if you're using complex password or using complex otp screens you can change the keyboard type as well so with the keyboard type you can have multiple options you just have to write text input type and we have number text date time and bunch of other options so whatever you want to use so this is how we create otp and the next thing is again first we are going to add some space and then we will create our elevated button on press will be null as a child let's add a text and we will use the next text t next let's save it button has been added but we have to increase its wrap this button we will first wrap this button with a size box and inside the side box let's add a width as double dot infinity let's save the code and you can see button has been increased in size okay once the design is completed we have to we can add basically two type of functions inside the otp text field we can get each field value using on code change so when single character is going to be added in the first field we can get that as well and also using this on submit it is a function we can get a complete code entered by the user so let's say it's a code that we are going to receive and then inside this function we can print it otp is this code let's add a semicolon let's save the code open this run method okay now inside this run method let's just delete everything and you can see i have just deleted two values and when i'm going to also delete it again and when i'm going to add the last value and you can see over here otp is this is the otp 158688 which is entered right on the screen so this is how we can get the value entered by the user so i hope you learn something new if you learn something new please like the video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe 
because more amazing videos are coming and also this playlist is going towards the back end so those videos will be more amazing again uh, thank you for watching take care allah hafiz